Hey everybody, Jim Cannell here from Jim's Organic Coffee. And uh, one of the questions I'm often asked is, how do you make coffee at home, Jim? And so I'm here to answer that question. I'm gonna give you, a, basically what I brew at home is a basic um, Melita filter. Very simple, makes one cup at a time. Uh, that way I know the coffee's fresh, uh, delicious, and it's brewed just the way I want it. Again, it's a really simple setup. Um, you just, your Melita filter, um, your Melita, excuse me, cone and filter. I like to use, this is as basic as you can be in a cup, um, though I do like a large cup because I like a lot of coffee. Here is, I've got, uh, you know, a, a pretty good home grinder, um, but this is, um, you could do the same with a burr grinder. If you order from us, you would just order it on the drip setting um for you know single cup at home and um you know that'll do the trick um so what i'm going to do first the great thing about brewing one cup at a time is um the water is hot enough um and so obviously this is water that's at boiling point we you could do in this electric kettle or you could certainly do it on your stove as well um and what you do first is you run a little bit of hot water through the filter um, and what that's going to do is basically get rid of any sort of paper kind of residue. Uh, so what I've, what I've done there is I've uh, run the water through um, and then um, uh, uh, gotten rid of the paper taste um, and heated it up a little bit. So um, I've actually pre-ground some coffee. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, you know, for this drip grind, uh, you want something that's basically, it's sort of like sand. Not super fine sand, but fine sand. How much coffee you use is really a matter of taste. Um, I will make, I will make with this cup, I'll use the equivalent of like sort of three heaping tablespoons. Um, again, I like my coffee strong. Um, you could use a little bit more, you'll use a little bit less than that. At home, I generally do a dark roast. Um, and so, you use a little bit more because dark roasts are less dense. If you were to do a light roast at home, you might use sort of three not so heaping tablespoons. That's the difference there. Um, so we're just gonna fill this up and turn our uh, kettle back on. Um, so what you're gonna do first is, I just like to, this is called blooming the coffee. Um, all you're doing is making sure that all the grounds are saturated. Um, you can see a little bit of uh, coffees coming through. Um, you can also see how the coffees are blooming there. Um, what that does is by pre-doing that, what you're doing is you're leaving room, so to speak, between the particles in the grind. So then when you add the water, what you're doing is they're sort of evenly spaced out within the filter. What I'm gonna do is, is just kind of keep adding water as it goes. Pretty simple. Uh, this is gonna yield a good strong cup of coffee. That's the desire. Um, and once you get used to this, it's a really simple system to use. Um, and again, it's just miles better than you know what you might do in you know a, a a regular coffee machine or certainly you know making a single cup using one of the those k cup things now it's about full and so you can see it and i'm just gonna remove the filter there you know two to three minutes in terms of like the amount of time the water's in the coffee is is what you ideally want you know with the grinding and the setting up you know, maybe it takes five minutes, but you know, you're gonna yield, once you get used to it, it's a perfect cup of coffee time after time. And it's done to the way you like it. And that's the most important thing. So, mm, delicious, full bodied, um, nice brightness to it. Um, good sweet love blend, enjoy.